It's Sunday. It is way too hot to do anything known to man. It's been well over 100 for the last couple days. I said that in last week's vlog. This week we are going to try to make plans that, she's gonna spill it on her right now, watch. This week we're gonna try to make plans that keep us cool. Um, we're probably gonna go to an aquarium in Long Beach. And what else are we gonna do, Bugga? Oh, we're gonna hang out with the neighbors a whole bunch and do some water stuff. I am actually gonna start working on getting ready for back to school because we go back in a few weeks. It's the fourth week of break and we are running out of time before Daddy and I have to go back to work. So slowly start getting back into teacher mode. By the way, that doesn't mean that I will be buying a bunch of crap for my room. I keep seeing people do that. I'll save that rant for another day when you can hear me better, but yeah. I'm just gonna start prepping lessons because that's what matters. <laughs> Niwari doesn't know it yet, but she's gonna be so excited in a second. Oh, she's mad. We just drove in the car for an hour and a half, an hour and 15 minutes because she's been running around the house screaming, Abby, Anna, that's her cousin's names. And yesterday when we were in Starbucks, um, can you see her back there? Yesterday when we were in Starbucks, twins walked in that had similar haircuts to her cousins and she started screaming, Abby, Anna. So we're gonna go see Abby and Anna right now and baby Carter. Carter, dance. Why and I at the friendly used bookstore with the Friends of Santee Library. Our cousins just left. We played at the library first. We picked up books for my classroom. I have Scat by Carl Hayeson. I grabbed The Dark Side to Nowhere by Neil Schusterman. We grabbed The Girls by Amy Goldman Ross. Noir is trying to climb up on everything. We grabbed How Tia Lola Came to Visit Stay by Julia Alvarez. Yes, Latinos for my class. No. The Stolen Children by Peg <laughs> Kehart. This looks like a scary one my kids will like. And Nuari got a book. She got The Napping House, a board book. We got these and a bunch of books for my nieces and we only spent $4.50. Score, we'll be back, huh? Oh, I forgot something. The books at the bookstore would have been half price if I had told them that I was a teacher. A volunteer told me as I was leaving. The whole bookstore is run by volunteers and they totally support teachers buying books for their classroom. So I'm jumping on the bandwagon people that say that library used bookstores are the business because they are. I need to find some up by my house now. Tuesday, it's a very chill day in our house. I snuck out to buy some stuff for my garden. I think I'm taking this blueberry plant home. He even has some little, look at that. See the little blueberries? Oh my God, that'll be delicious. Nuari loves blueberries, so this guy's coming home. I'm also kind of scoping out plants. I'm reading the book Balanced and Barefoot by Angela Hanscom, and I think I'm gonna go with plants in my classroom as my decorations this year. It's reminding me about all the information about like overload and kids and how it's bad just to clutter up your classroom and put a bunch of bright colors and how it's sensory overload and like more chill plants and things are better for the kids. So kind of scoping things out, but I probably won't buy them at the store. I'll probably go to the swap meet because that's like the jackpot for plants. It's Thursday. We are on a family day out. Look. We're at the Aquarium of the Pacific today. Look, lots of fish.
touching the jellyfish? She's happy. 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 It's really crowded, so it's hard to even like vlog. It's super crazy in here. There's puffins. I don't know, there's puffins in there somewhere. But she's happy. about to head home. We've had a good day. Nuari liked the fish the most when she could crawl on top of the tanks. Um, she sees them, but she kind of also just likes watching the other kids too. So. Fun day at the aquarium for our family. Yeah, uh huh. We'll be back. You want to come back? Okay, bye fishy. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. Nuari and I are going to plant this blueberry plant at the beginning of summer. I thought I was just going to plant a little bit of garden stuff, but I'm loving it. And I'm also reading the book Barefoot and Balanced. It talks about how it's important for kids to have a wide variety of sensory experiences. And Nuari spends way too much time inside. When I was little, I was able just to go outside and do whatever I want. First, we had a big backyard, and I lived on a racetrack. And then, um, I lived in the mountains and I was able just to go and like run wherever I wanted and run through the bushes. Nishantha grew up in Sri Lanka so he was able just to seriously run through the jungle and like climb trees and do whatever he wanted. Um, he talks about how those, the book talks about how those sensory experiences help kids brains to develop and it transfers into other areas and even running around without shoes. I would put shoes on her out of habit. I've been trying to have her run around out here without shoes on. Even though she's on concrete, it's still better for her development and her feet. So we're trying to do that and I'm trying to let her get dirtier. So we're going to get this thing planted today. I have a couple more things to do to the garden. Oh, the dog's got in the garden again. I don't know which dog it is or how they're getting in, so I have to do some work there. But yeah, we're gonna get dirty right now. You ready? Oh, she's got her gloves. She doesn't know how to put on. She can put mine on, but she can't put hers on. So. We'll leave this on so you can watch us work. Let's get the show on the road. So we just had neighbors over for dinner and I made this earlier this week, see this? It's amazing, it's a blondie. I'm allergic to brownies so I can't have chocolate. I don't do gluten but I found this recipe for this stuff that's like cracked and it tastes like a brownie. I can't stop eating it. So we finished dinner and I was like, hey, you guys want dessert? And then I went up that I sent Nishanta to the store to get vanilla ice cream. It was amazing. I'll put the recipe and link below. I'm totally not like a food person or like, yeah, but I'll put the food recipe below, okay? Okay, you think it was good? <laughs> Just kidding, she didn't have any. She only had, did you like the spoon? It's Friday morning, Noir and I have a garden update for you. We have bad news. We found a bug on the ground. I'm not gonna put him on here because it's disgusting. I think the dog's caught. I'm not joking. See that? That big, like see the size of my hand? The fattest, nastiest caterpillar thing you've ever seen. But I think the dogs ate him, it's really gross. But that's good because he was eating our plants. But we don't wanna put chemicals on here because we're gonna eat those and we like the good bugs. Look at this. See that? Oh yeah, that's our beautiful, I think that one's zucchini or crook, I think that one's zucchini. Um, got flowers coming up on that plant, that's been one of our happiest plants. And then, but we had an attack in the garden again. So I came out there to check on my little baby seedlings, I have them on one part of the garden. And, no, don't eat those child, look. Those are my beans, they ate them, they ate the sunflower seeds, the corn's totally gone. They ate them, I don't wanna eat them. <laughs> the birds attacked our garden. <laughs> We have fought off so many things. The dogs got it one day this week too, so it's World War III in our garden, not really. It's okay, I guess the birds were hungry, but I really wanna grow some corn, so we're gonna figure something out. Don't eat that. I told you you could eat the basil and you didn't want to. And you are now gonna share with you the books that just came in the mail from Amazon. We got two Sandra Boynton books. These were actually recommendations from Instagram. We posted that we were going through her books and two people recommended this. This one, a woman named Addison Reads on Instagram recommended. It's the Hippos Go Berserk. 
The hippos have a dance party. I read it to her already. She likes it. Hi. We also got pajama time that was recommended by my friend Callie who worked at the um, Girl Scout camp. Also by Sandra Boynton. It's about the hippos in their pajamas, obviously. Also picked up a book that we originally spotted at the library. It, my sister found it. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's called Festival of Colors by Kabir Sighal and Sharitha Sighal. It's illustrated by Vashidi Harrison. The illustrations are gorgeous. I want to put this in my house. It's about the Indian holiday called Holly, which is the Festival of Colors. If you've done a color run, then that's um, you should know that that's inspired by these festivals in India. People ask us a lot if um, Noir is Indian or if Nishanta is, he's not, they're from Sri Lanka. But um, I like it because the pictures are absolutely gorgeous and in my quest for a diverse books. This is an niche diverse, it's about a holiday in another country. It's really, really cute. Um, Noir did get one more book. This one didn't come from Amazon. I forgot to say, Bugga. She got this one when we were at the Aquarium of the Pacific earlier this week. That's your old book. That's Baby Beluga. We got Ocean Motions by Kate Endel and Casper Baby Pants. What the heck? That can't be that person's real name. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's about little animals in the ocean, and since she touched a jellyfish, I thought it would be perfect. She got to look at a few books, and she picked this one out. So those are our new books this week. Yeah, she really wants you to know that she loves Baby Beluga, too. Uh, I put this on Instagram. I think I'm putting here, but she saw this and she thought Raffi was her daddy. <laughs> she says, Dada, who's this? Dada? Oh, she learned. She doesn't get fooled anymore, but she kept yelling Dada when she saw Raffi on here. <laughs> yeah, Dada, Dada's on the bear and he doesn't snore either. It's Saturday night. I don't think I checked in today at all. Nuari and I had a spontaneous adventure today. We went to Lake Fulmer up in the San Bernardino wilderness. I wanted to take her outside and go just see somewhere nice um, and nature-y. I finished the book um, Barefoot and Balanced this week and it really, I already said this before, but it really got me thinking and so I tried to give her the opportunity to go outside and she had a great day. She got to feed a squirrel. No worry. Okay, pick it up. Okay, you can give it to him. See a squirrel? No. <laughs> That's a squirrel, love bug. Okay, say bye bye, squirrel. No. Oh. Okay. okay, no more. Bye bye, squirrel. <laughs> she got to see ducks and feed them. I let her take her shoes off and walk in the grass. We went on a bridge, we saw fish. And she just laid under the trees and just laughed and laughed and laughed and tickled. And it was really, really good experience. So this is a nice wrap up to our week right now. She's checking on her baby strawberries right there. She has a couple, look. Um, you see your babies? Well, those are the flowers, but in there somewhere. I don't know where. There's some baby strawberries in there. Yeah, she knows they're babies because I keep saying babies. Um, so that's all for our week this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed our vlog. Thank you for sticking to the end and watching the whole thing. If you liked it, please hit like. If you want to see more vlogs, hit subscribe. I also make other teacher mom stuff. And teacher stuff, not just teacher mom stuff, but also other teacher things too. So thank you. I'll see you next week. Bye. No worries. Say bye-bye. 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 She says bye. <laughs>